If you've been working or saving for any amount of time, chances are you may have a retirement account over here, two over here, and maybe another one over here. It's very common, especially if you've worked for multiple employers. Today, I wanna to tell you about the top three reasons why investors and retirees simplify and consolidate accounts together as they're getting closer to that retirement finish line. Chris Herline here, partner at Reap Financial and host of Retire Ready TV on KXAN, that's News Channel 36 here in Austin, as well as Wealth Radio on News Radio KLBJ. Thanks for tuning in with me today. If you like our videos, be sure and hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up down below. All right, let's talk about consolidating accounts, particularly retirement accounts. And as I mentioned, if you save for any period of time, there's a chance that you may have a 401k over here and a 401k over here, maybe two IRAs over here. And the days of working for one employer for 20, 30, 40 years, we don't see that as often anymore. So it's very common that you may have multiple retirement accounts, multiple investments. And so today what I wanna do is share with you really what we see are the top three reasons and ways that people are consolidating. Number one, you know, when you think about having an old 401k out there, maybe it was an employer you worked for five, 10, 15 years ago, and you've never really done much with it. It's kind of floating around out there. Here's the thing, economies change, stock markets change, and you know when you're getting close to retirement, you may want to consider better oversight of those funds. The second reason is when you have 401ks floating around out there, the investment options in these things, they typically will change throughout the years. So the question is, is are you staying on top of them? Are you allocating them in a way that's complementing what all your other investments are doing. And number three is just simplicity. Understanding that, you know, having oversight in one or two places rather than having five, seven, 10 accounts out there, this is the type of thing we see that retirees are wanting is more of that simplification, better oversight consolidation. When it comes to your 401ks, one of the things you need to consider is this is where the bulk of many families retirement nest egg is. It's easy to save in it. It gives you a tax deduction in most cases. And when you are getting close to retirement, you may need additional options for your investments. 401ks are generally gonna be comprised of mutual funds or ETF options. And you could have small cap and mid cap and large cap in there, maybe some international, emerging market, bond investments. But everything I just mentioned is generally going to be stock market. And the thing we see is as you're getting closer to retirement, you may want more diversified assets, things like physical investments, like that could be gold, silver. You may want to invest in real estate. Uh, you may want to invest in I bonds or fixed notes or CDs as interest rates are going up and giving you better, you know, better diversification, but also providing more stability as you're going into retirement. The second thing I want you to look at is the fees in your investments. In many cases, your 401k may be comprised of multiple fees and the fee structure in that can erode your investment returns long-term. And so ensuring that you're consolidating in a way, not just for investment options, but potentially bringing your investment costs down that can make a long lasting impact on your retirement income, your retirement account longevity. And then simply put, you may just want better oversight and consolidating can give you that. And a lot of times families may consider, hey, I've saved a significant amount of money. I do not want the responsibility of picking eeny miny mo investments anymore like I did in my 401k. And that's when they're out generally vetting fiduciary financial advisors. Either way it goes, consolidating can be the right answer for many people. It, it may not be the right answer for many people as well, but these are some great considerations for you to consider. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to get your hands on my tax bucket report, recently updated, and it talks about all the different types of investment and savings accounts out there, retirement accounts, how the taxation is gonna work on those, how to potentially strategize within these accounts to keep more of your wealth via taxes, particularly in retirement. Email me right now. We'll have it on its way to your inbox. Retire at reapfinancial.com. That's retire at reapfinancial.com. My team will have it on its way to your inbox.